Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make passive income from photography online. And obviously, if you want to do this, the main way you can do this is from stock photography. I'm going to show you the websites to go to, what sells best, what is the most downloaded uh, t you know, categories for photos, those types of things uh, I'm going to cover here in this video. But the first thing I want to show you is some of the most downloaded images in 2018. So uh, you'll notice that if you go through a lot of these, you know, top lists from the div different uh, stock photography websites where they have some of the top downloaded and top purchased photos, usually they're going to be related to a few different categories. So you'll notice there's a lot of office and work related ones. There are some that could be like backgrounds for quotes or something like that. Um, that are just basic backgrounds. You have stuff like nature. You have holiday related stuff like stuff around Valentine's Day or stuff around um, You know the holiday season or Thanksgiving or Halloween or whatever Obviously that stuff sells better at those times of the year Abstract type stuff can sell pretty well just as an, a regular background for something Technology related stuff tends to sell a lot of like laptop pictures or people using uh, you know You know you have a VR headset user right here or uh, people playing You know a console of the future for gaming or something like that and then you have you know things like Family and cities and photos like that as well. So and then here's another one for some of the top ones on a website called 500px you'll uh, here you go you see some uh, landscaping you see family you see more landscaping you see work you're probably starting to see a trend here other than what i've already told you you can tell it's mostly just like landscaping work family those types of things people doing something and enjoying it um you know whatever so these Photos I've been showing you here are the top downloaded photos. Now, other than that, uh, to make money from stock photography, I'm going to link in the show notes to a couple of articles that you can read about from people who have done this uh, like full and part time. But the gist of these is that it's very difficult to just sell one photo at a time for a lot of money. You're going to have to have a lot of volume. So typically, um, like if especially if you read this article right here, they recommend in many cases that you have, you know, a couple photos per day uh, on average. So if you can upload like 50 photos or so per month or 60 photos per month, then you could possibly earn a really good part time, maybe eventually a full time passive income. So again, uh, I'm not gonna just read through these whole articles for you, but if you read through a few the a few of these articles from people who've done this uh, for a living and everything, that's pretty much what they say is to go for quantity. Obviously, you want to go for the photos that sell the best. I already showed you those. Now I'm going to show you where you can go. So uh, one place is Snapwire. You can sell your photos here, and uh, they also have an app as well if you want to use the app for Amazon. Google Play or um, iTunes, and this is just another way for you to sell photos online, but you can actually just use the app and you can build your profile there. And it's kind of like another one called FOPE. I'll mention more about that one in a minute, but those are two of the main ones as far as like a free app where you can sell photos. Another one is mypic.co. Mypic is, is really cool because it allows you to turn your photos into art and then sell it that way. So it's kind of like all done through their website. You can sell it through here. They have an Apple app that you can look at and then you can uh, just create prints and stuff like that from your photos and sell them that way and they help you get them made and delivered for you. And it's just a really cool way to uh, turn your photos into products that are real products like towels and clothing and art prints and bags and stuff like that. Another website again is FOPE. I mentioned them earlier. They're kind of like Snapwire 
in that you can use the app on your Apple or Android device and sell photos. Um, you can sell photos straight from your phone with these apps because it's more of an amateur photography kind of app. So I would recommend starting out with something like FOP first and then going more into major stock photography websites that I'll show you here in a second. But they sell your photos for you just by having like an Instagram style of platform. People can follow you. You can follow other people as well. You get to see photos in your feed and then people can buy the photos for five and you get paid five dollars per download of the photos. Each photo can can uh, sell an unlimited number of times unless it's for like a very specific event or something that a company is sponsoring. So they have an app again for both Android and Apple and it's just like an Instagram where you can sell photos basically. It's very similar to something like that in the way your profile looks, the way your feed looks. You can also see what's been sold recently which is really cool because it gives you an idea of what kind of stuff sells as far as photography. Another thing you can do which is a little more professional is Adobe Stock. If you go to contributor.stock.adobe.com, obviously you've probably heard of Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator and a lot of the Adobe software that's out there, but Adobe Stock is a way for you to sell your photos on a stock photography website. So this is one place where you can go to, to once you become a little more um, professional at this, you have the right equipment, you have really good quality photos, then you might go to something like Adobe Stock. And again, I'll have links in the show notes to all of the pages where you sign up to sell uh, because some of these pages are pretty hard to find. They're not always straightforward about where to go to become a seller of stock photography. Another one that's very large is gettyimages.com. If you go to gettyimages.com slash work with us, then you can sign up to sell photos here with Getty Images. Again, this is a very large stock photography website. You've probably seen some of their stuff out there. And, you know, there's not a whole lot to say here, except it's more of a professional place where you're going to really have to step your game up. They have some apps as well, but, you know, um, I would just probably submit on their regular website and, Another one that you can do is uh, 500px.com and you can go to web.500px.com. You can submit your photos here for certain events. You can sign up as a uh, contributor. You can see your submission requirements right here. If you click that uh, link right there, it'll tell you how licensing works, technical requirements, file size and color mode, all of that stuff like JPEG files with a minimum 3 MP file size is what they require. They'll tell you about the coloring, trademarks, copyrights, watermarks, all of that stuff that you need to know. And then you can of course uh, sign up by just, um, if you go back, you'll have a become a contributor link right there and that's where you can sign up. So that's another thing you can do is try 500px.com and sell stock photography there. Another one is smugmug.com. And then if you sell your photos online, if you go to this page here, you can kind of do a name your price list tool right here on the left side that kind of helps you uh, get an idea of like how you would sell your photos. And uh, you can click how you can do that. That's kind of just what it looks like as far as the creator and then once you actually can sign up you can kind of go through all that uh, when you're ready but as far as an, just another place to sell your stock photography this is another one to check out also you can go to shutterstock again another very big website where you can sell um, stock photography a very professional one and obviously a lot of these are getting into stock videos and stock audio so if you want to get into that as well that's another thing you could do you can also earn money by referring other creators as well and uh, you make money every time your stuff is downloaded you know so if you can sell on as many of these as possible you can have money coming in from around the world from people downloading your photos in all different time zones 
and all throughout the day, pretty much every day of the week. And then you have um, Etsy, which is a really good site for selling art and handmade stuff. So Etsy, of course, is a site where you just sign up to sell on Etsy right there in the top right. You'll end up on this page and you can open your Etsy shop. But if you wanna make passive income, you don't want to constantly have to print out your photos and put them on, you know, in frames or whatever and ship them and pack them and deal with all that. That's not really a passive income. You want it to where you are have having a fully hands-off approach. And so what you can do is, is direct digital download. So if you type in digital download, you can see kind of some stuff that's on here that you can download directly. So like if you were just to click on this, just as an example, some people even sell clip art and all kinds of stuff on here now. It's not just stuff that you mount on your wall, but you'll notice that it says digital download, one zip. Uh, so a lot of people will buy stuff on here like quotes and you know things that can be put into all kinds of different uses and they will print it off themselves or take it to a photo place and they'll print it off a certain way or they'll have it put on you know a certain type of material or whatever so they are they're more in charge of how it gets printed and how it gets framed and all of that what size it is um, if it's direct digital download but you probably need to lower the price if you do that of course and sell it for around five to ten dollars per download that way but it's just another way to do it so um other than that, that's about it as far as the websites where you can make passive income from stock photography. If you thought this was helpful, check out that playlist in the top right for more websites that pay you for stuff like photography and other things as well. That playlist will show you some more options that you have out there. And other than that, I hope this was a helpful video for you, and I will see you in the next one.